in this setup voltmeter is connected across the supply battery which can vary from 0 to 20 volts we will reverse bias a diode which is here and we will monitor the reverse saturation current flowing through it so at present the kit is on this is reverse biased and the current is flowing out of the positive terminal of the battery going into the end side of the diode reverse biasing it and then current coming out of its P side going into ampere meter here the reading at present is over 2 micro ampere we have set it in micro ampere range so the scale on the top is showing us micro ampere reading it is about 11 amperes at present and we are increasing gradually the temperature of this diode you can see if you can see now uh, the diode is there and there is this heating element we are using uh, we are using a soldering iron and uh, we will keep on measuring the temperature using a thermometer and take readings for the temperature variations and the current variation at present i want to show you the temperature this is in centigrade scale i have switched on the heating element and now we are heating the diode so semiconductor diode will heat up and reverse saturation current depends on the temperature operation temperature and with every one degree rise 10 degree rise in temperature the reverse saturation current doubles let us see after some time how much the temperature value is and how much the current has increased so when current will increase i will take another reading i will pause for that till that time due to heating current has increased current has gone over 15 microamperes and temperature reading has it crossed 35 degree centigrade and now it has it is still over 35 degree centigrade and roughly touching 40 degree centigrade